So today, uh, I would like to give some information about the, the S4 and a conversion and the class timings and uh, so what we are going to discuss as part of the this conversion and the migration classes. So this is what the agenda for the, the today's the demo session here. So as part of this one, so the briefly we are going to discuss about the so the first of all the plane system we will do the installation of the the plane system here installation of the the plane SAP ECC system we will do the installation on SQL Server database SQL Server DB we will do the installation then after that so we have the one transactional system we have the one transactional system where we have the data and data is available. So we have the one production system, ECP system is there. So we will do the backup and restore. The, we will do the backup of our production system, production, and so we will do the backup and restore activity, backup and restore activity, okay? Backup and restore. So we will get the data here. Then, so then we will, we will do the pre-checks then post post restore activities post restore activities we will perform it here so then we will start the preparation activities for the preparation activities preparation activities for the so the migration first so we are not at the same time we are not going for the so ecc to s4 hana and sql server to hana db first we are going for the migration migration db migration to so hana db from sql server from sql server okay then once the migration is completed so we will validate the say we will add in the system after that once the migration is completed then we'll start the we'll start the ecc conversion ecc conversion to so yes, for Hana, both are in the different different boxes here. So this is also from SQL Server is the one one location. This is the another location. This is also one location. This is also one location here. So th then after that, after that, so the post conversion activities, post conversion activities. So here as part of this conversion, as I mentioned here, the Pre steps, pre activities, pre steps, right? Conversion. There is a before we perform in the ECC conversion. We'll start the ECC conversion. This is the very crucial step here. As part of this step here, we have the so there are the many phases. Like there is a prepare phase. There is a prepare phase in the here we have to perform the the custom code migrations related activities. And also readiness, readiness check reports here. So the simplification item catalog reports here. There are the bulk, the mass bulk notes implementations. There are a the lot of things we may have to do it here in the so here as part of entire step procedure here. Right? And then this one we will perform the all kind of activities here. So this is the our main steps. We will follow it here. Right? Then validations. So here, this is the step. It will take very longer time here. And this is the migration to the HANA database and ECC conversion to the S4 HANA with the, uh, not in the in-place migration. It's like, so other server from Windows to ECC Windows to, so Linux, then HANA Windows to, so this kind of OS is migrating to, OS is migrating to, so OS is changing to the Windows to, Windows to so Linux, right? And uh, DB is migrating to the so yes, DB is migrating to the SQL to the HANA DB finally. Then SAP ECC converting to then we are changing to the S4 HANA. It kind of full fledged conversation. So OS we are changing, DB we are changing the three layers and the last two the middle layer the application also we are going to convert it here. So diagrammatically, if I explain it here, so this is the our source. This is the our source here. And the source we have 
so this is a source system make it like windows this is in the windows so here in the source we have here we have the sap ecc is running on, on top of the non hana databases is a non hana okay non hana databases so this is the sap ecc here so normally this is the running this is running file so which we are working already right so here as part of this move this is the slide same example this is the example of the this is the on premise this is in the on prem as part of this one what we are going to do here as part of our training classes so we are going to in another new server another host maybe it's a it's a windows maybe another host or another uh, line exhibition we are going to this is the another host another data center we mean to say or another host another server another os okay here so here what we are going to do so we are changing our first of all we are changing our ala database to ala database to sorry not hana database to hana to hana database we are moving hana database we are moving so that so all the data whatever the data is there everything will be moved to the here so that time onwards so here ecc will not point to the this non hana database it will point to the this one it will point to the here so now after after you migrate the your non hana to here this will this will point to the here so whatever the data is there every data you will get that ecc will run on hana database up to so as part of the migration ecc will run on the hana database okay so that will be done after that so we will do the some validations some code creation something like that we will perform it here some data creation then after that we will perform this ecc also where it is running this is also we will slowly we will convert to the this is also we will convert to the this is also we will convert to the here that like the here we will convert to the so in this box here same in this box are different box different server or in this box we will use this ecc also to yes for hana we will use the yes for hana we will use it here s for hana so from that time onwards this will stay like this only but once you move using the system move option there is a option system move in the sub dmo tool there is a option system move. once you move that in everything to the here so then what we can do we can so this will start pointing to the this ana database anyhow this is the database same it is pointing to the from here it will point to the here right so here os windows is changing to the suppose example this is the linux mission some other non windows system linux mission so here we will do the ports open connectivity checking everything we will perform it in here so here you will get the access to the source here you will get the access to the target as well here here you will get the access to the sap and everything here here we have to apply the multiple nodes for preparation activities here you need to do the hands on experience here so i think you have to do the very hands on during the half class hours also we need to progress the all our activities not only in the class hours so why because 24 by 7 the, the server is available so you can do the half class hours also you have to perform the these activities so this is the our target our target is like like this is the target which we have to this is the target which we have to so stick with this plan right the main aim is the final aim is at the end of the conversion uh, our existing ecc should be up to date running on the s4 hana and hana database so here two step approach we are following here to get the hands on experience on the migration also what we are doing db migration specially we are performing from uh from non hana to hana then sap we are converting to the after that the second second step approach s4 hana conversion we are doing here two step approach we are doing here two step approach we are following here otherwise using the some dmo tool take the single shot is database and sap both we can convert it to the sap here single shot 
we can convert it to the here both the single shot we can convert it to the so here but here so we should require this some uh, some uh, information about the migration right so that is why so we are splitting our activities into the two types migration plus conversion here so that's why two step approach we are following here that's why we are following this one here right here the high level we are doing the installation then backup and restore post restore activities then one more thing is the so then we have to upgrade our system we will start the ecc conversion activities means as part of the conversion activities we may have to so up to date our patch levels also sometimes source system requirements source system requirements and everything we may have to update our so patches also here right we may have to update our patches also so that's why the source system upgrade upgrade of the your source system then then after that so some readiness check reports so if you see the plan plan of the our s4 conversion everything we are following the same sap standard book like that is called the adm 328 adm is the 328 is the sap standard guide we are following here so same as a best practices we are using here then so here in the maintenance planner session the prepare session here custom code simplification item catalogs then so then spdd spau the migration option here right so all those things here the concepts this one the business functions what are the business functions we have to activate it before and after some manual activities here so all those activities we are going to test all those activities we are going to follow as part of this conversion topic here right so this is the the overview of the that uh, as part of the, our our conversion as part of the migration plus conversion what we are going to do is this is the work here this is the topics we are going to discuss here right so my name is this is the target so source is the this is the work so here source system installation plus a backup and a db restore activity then upgrade activities then preparation for the conversion preparation activities only will take the so one week why because here there are a lot of notes we have to apply it then lot of things manual activities manual steps a lot of things we may have to do that one so so everything we have to do it so that's the reason so we will be in the so it is a time consuming activities then using the some demo tool we will perform the conversion activities to the here so this is the, the agenda of the the entire migration plus conversion activities here the target should be anything either on prem to on prem either on prem to cloud or anything the only thing is the target side you need to prepare the systems you need to build the systems keep it ready for the migration activities then the data will be converted to the using the pipe mode data will be converted to the your s corona systems right so this is the concept of the here any questions anyone here